Hello, good morning all of you. Uh, in this video, we are going to continue our last chapter, which we, we were discussing in the previous video also, that is a plant life. In this video also, we are going to discuss about the plant life. In the previous video, we have discussed about the leaf, the parts of the leaf, phyllotaxy and the venation of leaf. Now in this uh, video, uh, we will discuss only about the functions of leaf. And uh, so this will complete the uh, portion leaf. Okay. So in uh, functions of the leaf, normally the functions perform two types of functions. Okay. One is a normal function. One is a normal function. And the other one is a special function. Normal function means uh, normally all the leaves are performing these functions. All type of leaves perform this function. That is why it is called as normal function. And special function in which the leaves are modified to perform in some plants. The leaves are modified to perform some special function. That is why it is called as special function. Which only certain type of leaves are performing. So normal function means the function which normally all kind of leaves, all type of leaves are performing. First is the photosynthesis. Okay, uh, this we are going to discuss in uh, detail. Then transpiration and gaseous exchange. So photosynthesis, transpiration and gaseous exchange are the normal functions of the leaf. Okay, now special functions, there are many, but in your uh, syllabus, uh, in your book, only some are mentioned. Trapping of insect, then mechanical support, protection, and storage of food. Okay. So now we will start with the normal functions of leaf. First we will do the normal functions of leaf. What are the normal functions of leaf? Photosynthesis. First is the photosynthesis. Okay. Leaf contain chlorophyll. Leaf contain chlorophyll. That is uh, uh, last time also we have discussed about this. That leaves are green in color due to the presence of the pigment chlorophyll. So leaf contains chlorophyll that traps solar energy from sunlight and helps in the formation of glucose from water and carbon dioxide. Okay, carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight which the solar energy of the sunlight is being trapped by the chlorophyll. What is chlorophyll? Chlorophyll is a green pigment which is present in the green leaves. And in this process is called as photosynthesis. And in this process, what is being formed? Glucose is being formed. Okay. It is a main function. It's a very, very important and the main function of the leaf. And in this process, one very important thing is also liberated, is also evolved. That is the oxygen. Okay, so oxygen is also released in this process which is used by the plant as well as the animal for respiration. Okay, so in brief if you want to tell what is photosynthesis that means carbon dioxide and water absorbed by the plant in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll they form the glucose that is a food and oxygen is liberated during this process. Okay, now next process, next function of the leaf is the transpiration. Okay, plant lose water, plant lose water in the form of water vapor. They lose water in the form of water vapor through how they are going to lose this water, how this water vapor is coming out from the plant through the small stomata. Okay, stomata, stomata, what is stomata? Stomata are the tiny minute openings that are present mostly on the lower surface of the leaves. These openings are surrounded by the guard cells. Okay. So, uh, transpiration is the loss of water in the form of water vapor through the stomata of leaf. What is the importance of this transpiration? Why the water is being getting lost? It provides a cooling effect to the plant body. And most transpiration usually takes place through the lower surface of the leaf. Okay. Now, gaseous exchange. It is also one of the very, very important uh, function of the leaf. The 
and how these gaseous exchange is taking place during the photosynthesis carbon dioxide again gas is coming inside and oxygen is going out and in during the respiration oxygen is coming inside and carbon dioxide is going out so how this kind of gaseous exchange is taking place in the plant that is also through the stomata and leaf is mainly responsible for this gaseous exchange okay the stomata of the leaves help in the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide during the respiration okay this completes with the normal functions of leaf now we will start with the special functions of leaf there are some special functions of the leaf okay in which the leaf are modified to perform certain important functions what are these important functions which the leaves are performing first is the trapping of insect okay trapping of insect for this you have to see this diagram trapping of insect see this di see this diagram i made for you okay okay i'm not very good in drawing but still i have prepared this thing for you okay uh, trapping of uh, insects the leaves of some insectivorous plant you must have heard this term that is a insectivorous plant insectivorous plants are those plants which trap the insects plants are trapping the insect and in this trapping how this trapping is being done this trapping is being done through the leaf that means the leaves are modified to trap the insect the leaf are modified into pitcher see you can easily see in this uh, diagram that the leaf is modified into pitcher okay see this is a pitcher like shape this is actually the leaf of the plant okay the leaf of the insectivorous plants are modified to form specialized structures like pitcher in the pitcher plant it is being modified into pitcher and in uh, uh, bladder wort or venus flytrap they are modified into some other type of structure okay so this type of structure help in trapping insects and provide food for the plant okay then second function uh, that is the mechanical support see first is the trapping of insect example is a pitcher plant in which the leaf is modified into pitcher leaf is modified into pitcher and helping in trapping the insects for the plants okay now comes some mechanical support how the plant how the leaf is helping the plant in uh, uh, this thing supporting the plant mechanical support see this diagram mm. okay the leaflets of certain plants you can easily see see this thing the leaflets or the leaves of certain plants are modified into spring like structure see this thing it is called as leaf tendril okay the leaflets of certain plants are modified to form thin thread like coiled structures called tendrils see this thing called as tendrils the tendrils coil around an object in this i have shown this thing bamboo stick okay bamboo stick okay so the leaf tendrils are coiling around the bamboo stick why it is happening because the stem is very very weak of this plant so the tendril coiling around the bamboo stick will help the plant to stay upright okay the tendrils coil around an object and help the plant to climb up or to stay upright a very very good and perfect example of this leaf tendril is the pea plant pea plant usually have this leaf tendril so that leaves are modified into this spring like or a coil like structure which is coiling around some uh, support object or wall or whatever a bamboo stick and this will help the plant to stay upright or to climb up okay now next one is the next important function of the leaf is the protection okay some of the leaves are protecting the plant also okay they are protecting the plant how they are protecting the plant see this diagram 
see this one how the leaves are protecting the plant in some plants the leaf are modified into spine okay kaate okay uh, leaves they are modified into spine like structures which provide protection to the plant in this way the plants are being protected from whom they are being protected they are being protected by the grazing animals okay which provide protection to the plants from grazing animals very very good example of this thing in which the spine is present is the opuntia that means a cactus plant okay prickly pear opuntia cactus plant all are the example okay in cactus the leaves are modified the spines are basically the leaves of the plant and this green color this fleshy succulent like thing is the stem okay in which the water is being stored leaves are modified into spines it serves two purpose first it is protecting the plant when the leaves are modified into spine first function first purpose is to protect the plant from the grazing animal and secondly it is also helping the plant to avoid the loss of water through transpiration because a majority of the water is being evaporated from the plant through the process of transpiration so when the leaves are modified into spine they are serving two purpose first they are protecting the plant and secondly they are also avoiding the loss of water in the form of water vapor through the process transpiration because these plants are present mostly in that places where there is scarcity of water there is less water okay xerophytes desert plants okay okay now third uh, this thing third important special function of the plant is the storage of food you must have seen or you must be eating also that is the onion i think most of you are familiar with this thing this onion you have seen also must be eating every time plants like onion this membrane is tracks sac this thing see this thing huh? membrane structures called scale leaves okay these are the scale leaves which become thick fleshy by storing up the food storing up the food and also the water also scale leaves are commonly underground stem they are mostly found in the underground stem also okay uh, okay so this thing the scale leaves these are the scale leaves in onion this thing they are basically storing the food for the plant okay and we actually eat also this thing okay next is the reproduction okay uh, next last one is the reproduction that is a one very important function of the leaf sometimes they are also help in producing a new plant okay they also help the plant to propagate to uh, the same to reproduce also okay the margin of the see first of all see this diagram this one okay okay see this one this is the leaf of brophyllum okay this is the leaf of brophyllum the margin of the fleshy leaf margin of the fleshy leaf of brophyllum this is the brophyllum leaf see the margin of the leaf bears the adventitious bud see adventitious bud when these leaves fall on the ground all these buds germinate and form a new plant okay so this type of reproduction is also called as a vegetative propagation vegetative propagation this we are going to deal in detail in the next coming videos okay so but this time you only see this thing that the leaf of the brophyllum the margins of the leaf of the brophyllum is bearing the adventitious bud these leaf when fall in the ground all these small small buds will germinate into a new young plant okay so we have completed this one the functions of the leaf now our portion leaf is completed in our two videos okay so next time when we will meet we will start with the flower by that time 
you must revise the uh, portion leaf okay what in leaf what we are what you are going to study parts of the leaf pilotaxy venation of leaves and functions of leaf then functions of leaf again special function and the normal function okay and stay at home stay safe